Good evening, everyone. I'm Susie Sa. And I'm Sharon Tay. Let's start with Lori Perez. Lori? Well, Susie and Sharon, we now understand from D.C. police there were no shots fired. But, of course, no one knew that at the time. What a terrifying couple of minutes and what a shame on this celebratory weekend. From celebration to chaos in a second, cell phones across the Capitol, on rooftops and on the ground, captured the moment D.C.'s Pride Parade turned to panic as witnesses reported hearing what they thought was a gun. Just all of a sudden, you heard these three or four very, very loud pops, and I mean loud, and uh, they sounded like they were coming from almost where we're standing right now, and you just heard people scream, and they just started booking it. Marchers recording happy moments suddenly were filming fear. Watches this video. Video shows the very minute the tide turns. Danze Karaoke was in the crowd, and this is the video she took as she hid in a doorway. We spoke with her via FaceTime tonight. And I think what hit me in um, what happened, what hit me was I noticed that people from the parade, from the floats themselves, started to run to the other direction. And as for a second, I was like, why are they doing that? Until I noticed, oh, I saw their faces, and they were all in panic. As thousands ran, people ducked into stores, homes, and restaurants trying to hide. This was the scene inside one cafe. Several people were hurt. D.C. police are trying to find out what the noises were. Though they say they have found no evidence of shots fired, they did arrest one man and say they found a gun nearby. The fleeing masses, the frightened screams, faces filled with fear. The images have become familiar. The panicked response, sadly, almost instinct. And Karaoke says... And that's, that's the sad part. It's, it's that we are now living in those times where we think that at any point something could happen. Again, D.C. police say there's no evidence of any shots fired. The people who were taken to the hospital were reportedly hurt as they ran away. I'm Lori Perez. Back to you.